Hello everyone, welcome to Zodiac Tutorial Channel. Today we are learn about Salesforce Lightning Flow, type of flows, auto launch flow, screen flow, user provisioning flow, and contact request flow. What is difference between Lightning Process Builder and Lightning Flow? In Process Builder cannot be used to delete record. In Lightning Flow can be used to delete record. Process Builder can be trigger a record is created or edited even in a flow can be triggered when a record is created edited or even deleted in a process builder not possible to save a newly created record id but in flow possible to store newly created record id in a variable so if it is created using record create element that can be referenced in a flow later screen flow not to launch flow look like this if we want to create a screen flow just select a screen flow and create if you want to auto launch flow you select the auto launch flow and just create what is lightning flow builder the main motive behind this change in a automate the process flow in an application inside the salesforce that automate a business process by calculating data and performing operation in your org or an external system. Flow in Salesforce can be implemented generally two ways, screen flow and auto launch flow. What is screen flow? In this type of flow, there will, will be series of a screen element to gather information from the user and perform some operation. The screen flow can be accessed from custom buttons, custom link, user source pages, and extra. This type of flow is implemented if the user interaction is needed in the process. What is auto launch flow? Auto screen is set in background without any user interaction. Auto launch flow can be accessed from custom button, custom link, visual force pages process builder and fx the screen flow look like this we use screens auto launch flow we cannot be used screen what is difference between element and manager in element the interaction logic like uh, like a element we action subflow use assignment decision loop in a manager section we create a variable record collection pick list type and extra to start demo so in my developer or in gear action you select a setup click setup to quick find box select write a flow select flow under process automation if you see that so my org is uh, already some flows like auto launch flow screen flow and we create just click and new flow in new flow there are all flows auto launch flow screen flow user provision flow content request flow so right now I'm create a auto launch flow. Just create. If you see here, element, action, subflow, logic, uh, assignment, decision, pose, loop, and data create a record, update record, get a record, delete a record. And um, one by one, we cover all topics. Uh, what is actions? Actions we we call as some apex class element and email template some action we can do it in a flow subflow we can use uh, my another flow in this flow this is called a subflow assignment decision in decision in the apex code like a if and else conditions and decision means if you select decision you can see that there are multiple outcomes and here logic condition meet and 
a custom condition logic mate any condition means like this loop like a for loop if uh, if a select collection of collection of data we uh, select one by one we select a loop in data we create a record and create some created a record and select the create record if we want to update the record then then we up, select the update the record and here we get a record and we want to some get the records we select the get a record delete record we can delete some records which object we can delete this record so in the major manager side we in selecting new resource and say a resource type like a variable constant formula text template stills like this we select a variable you can see data type like a record number currency boolean true false output and pick list multi pick list pick list effect defined here effect defined we can also use fx classes here and constant formula text template here we use text templates in this body stage like this so we start to the auto launch flow and start we select this and auto launch and select a new or update record and i click my requirement i may created record or updated record and selected a object here account object and selected done if we uh, use here logic like a decision my requirement look like that uh, if my phone account field phone number is null then my active pick list value will select as no if my phone number is not null then my active pick list value yes so here decision decision level like is phone number phone number field in here we uh, select a label outcome labels here we select a phone number is null here we use uh, all condition are met to be in resource we select a new resource variable constant variable uh, formula text template instead it is here we can select a record uh, we can use use dollar record in dollar record says for says for in flow automatic the all the data in if you select that object we we select all the fields uh, in store in this dollar record here we select a phone and their operator is equals to contain is null and select the is null and select the global constant true it means uh, my phone number is null then my global constant true this my uh, condition as true then this phone number is null is true and my default name like uh, change my default name here phone number is no none and done here i am create a decision and connect with the start and we select now assignment uh, assignment like a uh, label like set active flag true if any name automatically and here we select the same 
dollar record and select active field and select equals to and here we select yes and here we want to my phone number is not null then my assignment set select true is assigned and another assignment my set active active flag false same repeat this dollar echo active field here we select the no pickles value no and done and this is my key if my if my phone number is null then my active flag false if then uh, active is no and here we can see drag the elements like here and zoom in zoom out if you select this in center and if you want here to see where drag and drop down you can use this and you save this flow now like a set active flag my right? flow name and here so advanced view type of flow dollar flow and right now i've saved this if we save you can see the run debug activate and save is if save is like a version create a new version and says for uh, limit and 50 version in a single flow here we select the activate this flow and see this my home page and create a new account and select any record type as a john account name john and phone number like and select requirement industry is a required field and just save it if my phone number is given then my active active quickly select automatically yes right now and answer and then save this sorry and save this my record you can see that my phone number is not blank then my active checkbox is yes if my update this record and blank and then save this you can see that active is no so my flow is all good thank you for watching this video